Hi, this is Mark, the volunteer webmaster at the ACEN site, and I wanted to do a little explainer video to help you along in the process of updating your sites. To begin with, there's a new survey, and the survey makes it super easy for you to fill in your information and hit submit, and we'll be able to add your tags to your appropriate site for your externship takes just a little bit of effort so if you don't want to get into the nitty-gritty of editing on wordpress use the survey the next thing we've changed is the sign up form now the sign up form is only for those that are new to acen because those with existing information it you um we need you to edit i we didn't want to throw open um the delete button and nuke everybody's existing content so uh, we're trying this style to use the survey and to have a helper text block that will be able to um, guide you in making things up to date Sure, there people move different positions and some of your information might be easily added. So this box of text has been added to the bottom of every site, externship site at ACEN. And it helps us with updating the tags. Now there are two types of categories, the population serve, and we're using these as a key, A for adults so on and then we're also going to have an experiences the expected experiences um key d for diagnostics and so on so this box is presently on the bottom of your site so what we'd love for you to do is to be able to go to the very bottom of the comments and make a little abbreviations for your for your sites so let's say you do adults and pediatrics and geriatrics and then let's also say your experiences are diagnostics and hearing aids and cochlear implants well, maybe you have tinnitus too and then all you have to do is hit submit your comment. And then I'm going to notice this comment. And then I'll be able to quickly add these tags to your site. And then when that happens, I'll also get rid of this ugly box. And you'll notice the very top then, presently, there are no tags for the Michigan. And there's no tags for anybody except for Charlotte's as she um, prototyped with us with us. So if we go to her site at the Boston Children's Hospital, um, we've reduced that box. So the population serves or PS dev and experiences are these. And then at the very top, it's not that visible right now because of the background of hers, but we'll be able to then click the S under the tags, and it'll stay all the people that are for the tag S, which is the school age children, um, are going to be listed here. So presently, there's only one. But I think this will be a much cleaner way to make all of our sites visible. Now, the problem is we have more than 170 different sites in here. So everybody's going to have to use a survey or edit and it'll be um, handy dandy. And then on our main site table, we'll have the population served, you know, have the key there and the experiences there. So people will be able to search at Boston's Children's Hospital and they'll be able to see, you know, what's happening at that extern site. So we wanted to have a little bit of granular activity on the table. Now this other form right here in the column still open 
is going to be gone in a matter of moments because we're all going to be rehiring for externships for the next academic calendar and you'll have to follow the timeline but we had this as a bit of a limbo perhaps your externship wasn't filled but we're going to get reset for the new year and everybody will be starting from scratch if there's any questions go to the bottom of your page write it out leave it a comment and then i'll address it